Hello and welcome back to the channel. First of all, let me apologize if there are any camera focusing issues. I'm still working on it and I will fix that in time. But I just wanted to make a quick video and say thank you guys because a few days ago the channel actually hit a 5,000 subscribers milestone. And it's unbelievable to me. I'm really grateful for all of you guys, for all of you who are here, even if you are here as a new subscriber, you know, welcome to the channel, welcome to action display, welcome to my uh, collecting action figures and posing them around party. And on this occasion, since, you know, this channel is mostly Star Wars The Black Series oriented. That's the line with which I started the channel and that's the line that's mainly on the channel. And so it's appropriate that uh, I tell you a little story about how I became Star Wars The Black Series uh, action figure collector. I did talk about it on some of the podcasts that I was on, but I never actually talked about it here on the actual channel. A quick story, it was uh, back in 2015 when uh, we were getting the new Star Wars movie, Episode 7, The Force Awakens, and uh, a story about me relating to Star Wars movies is that I missed all of them when they were airing in theaters. And I became this kind of uh, Star Wars fan back in 2003, right after Revenge of the Sith was in theaters. I already talked about it, how I became a Star Wars fan in one of my previous videos, so if you want you can check it out. But I would like to tell you how I became a Star Wars The Black Series collector. Namely, because I missed all that hype around movies being released in theaters, I thought that uh, I missed all of it and that I won't be getting any chance again to see a Star Wars movie in theaters. And even because, you know, there were recordings of uh, George Lucas saying that he won't be making any more Star Wars movies and there, that there is no episode 7 and so forth. And so I thought that I missed it. And then in 2000 and uh, what was it? 2013 when uh, Lucas uh, sold Lucasfilm to, to Disney and when they announced that we will be getting more of Star Wars movies and that they will be making sequels, you know, to the original story, I kind of told myself that I will purposely get myself hyped for these new movies because I wanted to feel that hype that I originally missed. And so I started watching uh, a lot of, uh, you know, Star Wars content videos on YouTube and, you know, even those theories about what we could get uh, in these sequels. And then when the first uh, teaser for episode 7 came out, uh, I watched uh, all of those reaction videos and uh, all of it. I went all in, you know. And so, because, I guess, because watching uh, these types of videos, I suddenly stumbled upon channels like uh, Shortimus Prime channel. And I saw one of his earlier Black Series reviews of the X-Wing pilot Luke Skywalker and uh, Sand Trooper and so forth. And I was amazed because I didn't know that there is a six inch uh, Star Wars line. And I did, you know, collect uh, action figures back when I was a kid, but those action figures were never Star Wars. They were Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, Transformers and uh, Masters of the Universe. So, but now I was into Star Wars and I saw that there are Black Series six inch Star Wars figures. And I was amazed that how good they look, especially that uh, sand trooper. And so I went to the local store and I found few of those Star Wars Black Series figures on the pegs. And that was back in 2015 and uh, Star Wars the Black Series line actually started in 2013. So this was two years later 
and uh, since I live in Croatia, I'm not in the US, you know, uh, these types of uh, things tend to be late here where I live. So, even though it was two years later, there were still those figures from the first few waves. And back then I actually didn't know anything about the, those Star Wars waves that were coming out, so when I saw them on the shelf, I thought that these figures were new. And uh, actually I wanted to show you the first Black Series figure that I ever bought, the figure with which this collection started, was the original orange box A New Hope Han Solo. And when these figures were coming out, even though they weren't using that uh, photoreal technology back then, I kind of thought that this Han Solo looks great. To my eyes, at the moment, it looked like, you know, Han Solo. He looked like uh, Harrison Ford. And so I was really excited to find a Black Series figure here in my local store. Because from what I saw in those YouTube reviews, these figures really looked to me like, uh, you know, quality premium action figures in a six inch uh, scale. And so I was excited and uh, I got Han Solo. But in those stores there were also a few other figures that at first I didn't get, but then decided that since I liked this uh, Han Solo so much, I decided to go back and get those other figures as well. And so the second figure that I ever got in this Star Wars The Black Series line was appropriately, you know, next to A New Hope Han Solo, it has to be uh, Greedo from A New Hope, of course. And so these two guys were my first Black Series figures that I ever got. And I really like them to, to this day. They still look great to me. I mean, we did get this uh, A New Hope Han Solo in an archive line uh, recently with, you know, updated photo print on the face. But still, you know, to me, this guy is uh, the original. And I like him. And I don't think that that face is that bad, you know. And after that, I went on and I found in the same local store, I found uh, Slave Leia Black Series figure as well. So I got her. And uh, that was the start of my Black Series uh, action figure collecting. Seven years have passed since I became a Black Series collector. It's insane how time goes by, you know? But yeah, this is a short video. I just wanted to say once again, thank you, all of you who are here on the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing and for being here, for being a part of this collecting and uh, action figure posing community. It's a great success for this channel and I hope that uh, the channel will keep on growing. I really do have a lot more of action figures that I'll be posing for you guys. And that means, of course, the Black Series who are dominant on the channel. But uh, there will also be some content for other collectors who collect other lines. And if those videos help them to, you know, spice up their shelf, their display, and uh, if, if it helps them in their posing of their action figures, then that's great. That's the whole point of the channel. So, yeah, you heard my story about how I became a Black Series collector and what were my first figures in the collection. So now I would like to hear the same from you. What was your first black series figure that started your collection. Let's hear your story. You can tell us all about it down in the comments. Once again, thank you guys for 5000 subscribers. It means a lot to me. It's a big uh, milestone. It's a great achievement of the channel. And it's an amazing thing to, to see that there are a lot of people out there who really like to watch these kinds of uh, posing videos. No matter of the simplicity of the idea that's behind 
these kinds of videos. But it does take a lot of time and it takes a lot of work to make just one of these videos because I put in first the hours for recording all of the poses and then few hours for the editing of the video, you know, so it's a lot of work. So that's the reason why it means so much to me when I see that there is more and more people coming to the channel, subscribing, commenting and uh, all of that good stuff, you know. So yeah, thank you guys. Let me know what is your first Black Series figure and how you started collecting this line. And uh, that's all I gotta say for this video. I'll see you in the next one.